is the best time in your cycle to take the morning after pill? In this video, I'll be looking at the most commonly asked questions about the best time in your cycle to use the morning after pill to be sure it's effective for you. For example, will it work if you take it before sex? What about after your periods? And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to tell you whether the morning after pill is effective if you take it during ovulation. Hi there, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner with Askewe Health. On our channel, we share videos about women's health to help you understand your bodies and live well. If those type of videos interest you, then please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you know every time we publish new videos once a week. In this video, we're going to be looking at four time-related questions about the emergency birth control pill, but let's just remind ourselves quickly about how it works. People reach for an emergency contraceptive pill when they're trying to prevent an unplanned pregnancy following unprotected sexual intercourse. This means you might have forgotten to take your regular contraceptive or you didn't use a condom or you did use a condom during sex and it split. The two common emergency contraceptive pills that we use today contain either the synthetic hormone progesterone called levonorgestrel, which you can find in pills like Plan B, Take Action, One Step, Postinor, Postinor 2, Post Pill, and so on. While the second type contains an antiprogesterone called Ulipristal Acetate, often marketed as Ella. Both of them primarily work by delaying the release of a mature egg from the ovary, that is ovulation, and Ulipristal happens to be the more, the more effective of the two. And if you'd like to learn more about Ulipristal or Ella, please check out this video on our channel here when I talk a lot more about it, and I'll place the links in the description box below. Pregnancy happens when a mature egg is fertilized by the sperm and there's a limited window in a woman's cycle when this can happen every month. A cycle is the time between one menstrual period and the following one. Usually, we can estimate when you're most likely to fall pregnant if you have a regular cycle. And having a regular cycle means that you get a menstrual period roughly at about the same time every month, or at least an average number of days from the last one. This also tells us that you're ovulating and doing so at a particular time after you've had your period. Women commonly have regular cycles where their periods happen every 28 days, although it could be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. However, many women do have irregular periods when they do not see their periods at about the same time every month. And this means that estimating when they ovulate just by looking at their dates might be more difficult than for those who have regular periods. For a lady with a regular 28-day cycle, the menstrual period happens at the beginning of the cycle, usually from day 1 to day 4 or 5. After shedding the womb lining as menstrual blood, your body starts to prepare for the release of another egg. By the middle of that cycle, so around day 14, is when ovulation usually happens, when that mature egg is released from the ovary. By the second half of the cycle, and if you've had sexual intercourse, your body will have a fertilized egg and it's readying itself for the changes of pregnancy. However, if that egg is not fertilized, then it will be shed as menstrual blood along with other parts of the womb in the next cycle. The menstrual period and ovulation happening are events that depend on your hormones. From the time your period ends, certain hormone levels start to go up. One of the hormones is follicle stimulating hormone or FSH, which helps to develop and mature the egg. By the time the egg has reached the right size, the levels of another hormone hormone called luteinizing hormone or LH starts to go up as well. Studies tell us that within 36 to 40 hours of this LH rise or LH surge, there is a peak and it's at the peak level of that hormone that ovulation happens, that is the egg is released from the ovary to travel through the fallopian tube and into the rest of the womb. So the time in your cycle that you take the emergency pill is important because the ones that contain levonorgestrel will start to work before the surge, that is the rise in the level of LH. On the other hand, 
Ella will work closer to the point where the LH peaks. And so if you take Ella before the LH peak, it will delay the ovulation process. Levonorgestrel will not work at that point. And so because Ella can still delay ovulation, even though the LH levels have started to rise, it is a better contraceptive pill than the levonorgestrel containing ones. In addition, Ella continues to work for 48 hours after the levonorgestrel pill is no longer reliable or effective in preventing pregnancy. Now, the other minor way that these pills may work is to prevent implantation if the egg happens to get fertilized. However, studies do not show this particular method happening reliably or consistently. So now that we know how the pill works, let's apply this knowledge to some of these questions. Number one, does the pill work on ovulation day? Once the LH levels start to rise in your body, they are 36 to 40 hours before you actually ovulate. The levonorgestrel pill, like plan B or postino, can only work if you've taken them before this LH rise or surge begins to happen. This means that if you know the day on which you are likely to ovulate, the levonorgestrel pill is going to be most effective one to two days before that day and it will not work on ovulation day because the surge has already happened on the other hand ella is more reliable because it works even after the lh surge has happened although it cannot work after it has peaked so you may find that on the day of ovulation if the lh peak has not yet happened ella can still be effective so what's the answer to this question it depends on the pill the levonorgestrel pill is unlikely likely to work if you take it on the day you are ovulating because the period during which it's supposed to work has passed. Ella has a better chance but again we don't really know at which point exactly you ovulate so it's a bit of a chance to decide whether or not Ella would work. So for somebody who monitors their ovulation. What are your options if you have sex on ovulation day with respect to the best contraceptive method to use? First, get the copper coil if possible. It is the most effective emergency birth control method and it will work within five days of having unprotected sex or within five days of your ovulation. And once you've had it fitted, it can remain in place as a regular form of contraception for five, ten years, depending on the type of copper coil that you've had inserted. But okay, because it needs to have a specialist fitted, it may not be possible or convenient for you to have the copper coil. So what's the next best plan? Number two, get the Ella contraceptive pill. Yes, it works before ovulation, but the thing is nobody can tell you on the day that you're ovulating at the specific point when your egg release happens. So you could get a chance of taking the Ella pill before that LH peak when the egg release is triggered and it works for you. And the third option is taking the levonorgestrel containing pill, which even though we've said works before ovulation and is actually most effective 36 to 40 hours before the time that you actually ovulate, is still better than having or taking nothing at all. So the next question for us to tackle is, does the pill work at the end of your cycle? So what is happening at the end of your cycle? At this time, you're far away from ovulation and your fertile window. For any ladies who are regular with the cycle, this is their safe period or the least likely time that they will fall pregnant during the month. But please be careful with relying on the dates because some women's ovulation time can change month to month even with regular cycles and there's a risk of falling pregnant even though they thought they were in their safe period. And so it's essential to always have regular protection or use a condom or go for an emergency contraceptive method instead of simply relying on being safe during that period. Taking the pill at the end of your cycle or safe period is still an excellent idea to reduce any chances that pregnancy could happen. If it's taken at that time, the pill could bring on your next period earlier or it could delay it. But it's also possible that the effect of the pill can wear off well before it's time for you to ovulate. So the next question is, when is the best time of the cycle to take the morning after pill? You've probably guessed it from what we've been saying so far, but I want to be clear that the emergency contraceptive pill can be used by a woman at any time of her cycle if she has had unprotected sex. Yes, there are times when you may be less likely to fall pregnant, and yes, there are times when the pill is less likely to be effective, but taking it is better than just leaving yourself 
exposed and at a higher risk of falling pregnant. Although we have theoretical safe periods, given the fact that ovulation can be a little unpredictable and that the sperm can remain alive in the woman's body for up to five days after intercourse, pregnancy could still happen when it's not expected. So given a regular cycle of 28 days, when your menstrual days are from days one to five, your fertile window could fall between day 10 to day 14. And with this, we assume that you ovulate on day 14. Remember these are estimates and it's possible that you may ovulate a day or two earlier or after these estimated dates. For example, from days 12 or day 16 as ovulation days. So if you have sex, for example, on day seven of your cycle after your period and your ovulation day is on day 12, the sperm remain alive from day 7 up to day 12, which means there's a chance that they could meet an egg, a mature egg, and you could fall pregnant. So taking the emergency birth control pill in the 78 days leading up to ovulation seems to be the best time to get its full effect. Don't forget that taking levonorgestrel too near ovulation means that it's not likely to work because it will already have passed the LH surge. The next question, does plan B work after your period? Yes, it does. Plan B is a levonorgestrel containing pill. If you have sex around this time and it's not too close to ovulation, taking levonorgestrel at this point will be very effective. The pill will delay ovulation for five days and then ovulation will happen. So please don't forget, once you've taken the birth control pill, get back to your regular birth control method because there is a chance that you could fall pregnant if you have sex again since ovulation had been postponed for five days. And if you haven't got a regular method, then you may need to use emergency control again to avoid falling pregnant. Finally, if I take the emergency contraceptive pill before sex, Will it work? This is a great question. So assuming you want to maximize the effect of the pill, it makes sense that you take it preemptively to make sure you're fully covered or does it? Well, actually, no. These drugs are meant to be used as soon as possible after sex. If you take the pill before sexual intercourse, you will not get the maximum protection. This is because we know that sperm can survive in the woman for up to five days after sexual intercourse. So if you take the levonorgestrel pill, for example, on the day before you have intercourse, you're, you're cutting short its effectiveness by 24 hours because it's only effective for up to 72 hours. That means that you only have two days of protection for that levonorgestrel pill but the sperm is going to remain alive for possibly another three days. And similarly, if you take the Ella before sexual intercourse, you will cut short its protection. So we know Ella can work for up to five days after it's taken. That means if you've taken it the day before you have sex, you've lost one day of its protection, but you have sperm that's going to survive for another five days while Ella is only effective for four. So in other words, the sperm might outlive the duration of protection of your emergency contraceptive pill. Let me know in the comments section if you found this video helpful and it answers your questions about the best time in your cycle to use the emergency birth control pill. Don't forget that taking it as soon as possible after sexual intercourse increases the likelihood that it works effectively for you. And taking it regardless of where you are in your cycle, whether it's the levonorgestrel containing pill or Ella, is better than doing absolutely nothing. Next time, I'm going to be looking at whether your weight affects how well your emergency contraceptive method works. So if you're interested in that topic, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and turn on your notifications so you know when our videos go live. While you're waiting for that one to come through, check out these two here and I'll see you again soon.